Hey, in January this year, I took the super ambitious goal of achieving $10,000 a month in <coughs> passive income. This is month 10. Let's see how I did. My name is the London Nomad and it's my mission in life to make you financially free. Okay, so the first website is Gaming, The Gaming Man. This site has 300 posts and it had 55,000 sessions and it made $1,088 on Media Vine at $29.90 on Amazon. So it made $1,107.94 in total. The only thing I changed this month was switching my theme from Acabado by Income School to the new theme Trellis by Media Vine. And this costs, you can either buy it outright, I can't remember the cost, or you can do a subscription service for $14.99 on a monthly basis, which is the one I did. Stay tuned for my Media Vine Trellis theme review. Trellis presumably increases revenue by 35% on a year to year basis compared to other websites not using Trellis and many other features such as increasing session time. I'm only going to know this in the future. 79% of websites on Trellis pass the Google Web Core Vitals. If you want to see how to make your website super fast and be green green, take a look at my dedicated video. The site still hasn't recovered from the recent Google Rhythm algorithm update which it lost more than half its traffic but luckily it still broke a thousand dollars this month. Here's hoping it increases in the following months with another update but I don't have my fingers crossed. I'm going to approach this website like it doesn't exist just sit on the passive income money. I'm not producing any more content. I will sell this site in January 2022 after the delicious, nutritious December Christmas earnings. If I can get between $30,000 for this site, I'd like to get more, I'll be ecstatic. The site to go. This had 7,900 sessions last month and made $308 on Azoic. In total, it made $344. It has seven posts were published last month. The goal was 10 and I have 105 posts in total. My golf site is my first seasonal niche, so it was only to be expected that the traffic will go down from 11,000 to 7,900, because obviously in the Western Hemisphere, as everything approaches winter, less people play golf, because you don't want to be outside when it's cold as balls. This is why I'm focusing so much on producing tech, 29 posts compared to seven posts last month, because tech is not seasonal, it has no dips, it will only go up during Christmas. But I still have to produce golf content every month in order to have content to rank when spring comes April time, May time. I still haven't truly replaced my fantastic golf writer, Ed, I miss you, who was only 0.25 cent a word and he wrote excellent quality content. I'm going to try and use some of my Filipino writers to see how they do because a lot of the golf articles I write are research. So I'm sure they'll be able to write some of the stuff I write. The golf writers I tried to replace my main writer with are either too expensive at 0.5 cent a word or too incompetent and old. I will find more golf specific affiliate programs and write a golf Christmas article that I can link to in every single page that has traffic on my golf site. My aim this month is 10 golf articles. Now, if you're finding value in this video, please like because it helps it spread to more people. That free, this is the juicy one, tech. Tech has done really good. It had about 8,000 sessions in the month of October, which is an eight increase from the thousand sessions it had in September, 8X since putting on Azoic ads, which is why I recommend you put ads on day one in your site. It made $157 in total and 29 posts were published, 30 was my goal and I have 78 in total. I will make a video on why you should put ads on day one for your site because evidently it did not impact the site's growth whatsoever. My broad domain name for the tech site allows me to put a lot of articles that were made for the gaming site that I found out using Project 24's new search analysis method to find high traffic content I can write on the new site, no problem, I still keep those articles. When I return to London, I will purchase other relevant tech articles in order to increase my domain authority and write more products so I don't get bored of writing about the same thing. I got bored about writing about the same products this month. There's only so much you can write about something before you get bored. This is why I'm going to put a lot more attention onto the YouTube channel this month and write about different subsections of the niche because it's all about consistency. You need to be writing 500, 600, 700 posts, 1,000 posts. You can't be thinking about the short term. You've got to think about the long term. My plan is 30 articles again. This month, I'm only focusing on easy, low competition keywords. And I find all these keywords out with a fantastic keyword tool, Keyword Chef. Honestly, trust me, this will save you hours upon hours in search analysis. It makes everything so, so easy. See my demonstration of the tool there. My content production this month has exploded due to a combination of hiring a fantastic VA. And you can see these videos on my new channel, London Freedom there. 
and creating a fantastic blogging system that exponentially increases everything that I do with my business. And you can learn more this video's end screen. So London Nomad, London Nomad's views has not changed. 1.7K views plus 21 subs, 426 in total. It only made $55. I didn't pay attention to this channel and it showed, but the good news, I'm back. I will focus more on beginner friendly content in this channel and the more high level stuff involving building business systems, involving business mentality, involving how to hire VAs and organize your business in general, will be on my new channel, London Freedom. Please, if you found value in my videos, like and subscribe to this new channel. If you are up for the higher level stuff, you can see down in the pinned comment in this video. I plan to utilize the wagon wall strategy for YouTube. So what this is, is I'll make one big video and then I'm gonna make mini, mini vid videos that are two to four minutes long that funnel traffic to this big video, which is gonna exponentially increase the suggested videos on my YouTube channel. Think of it of a wheel of a wagon and the little spurts with the main video being the circle and the little videos being the little spurts. I only earn $55 from one Project 24 sign up and $5 in the Keyword Chefs affiliate program. Still have $100 locked in Cloudways, which is the best beginner hosting and guaranteed to increase your site's speed, traffic and money. You can watch my review of Cloudways the server that will change your life in the video gaming channel so it had 30,000 views and it made $30 in Amazon and $30.25 in affiliate I finally achieved monetization on YouTube by when I had about 970 subscribers I posted in the project 24 forum and on Facebook and Instagram in that push to get to a thousand and good news it worked I'm earning around about $3.80 to $4.60 just on ads on my YouTube channel a day. This is all from achieving a thousand subscribers and flipping that stick of monetization. It's passive income from nowhere. My big YouTube mistake was creating all these channels and taking time and attention off the gaming man. If I never took attention, this channel easily could be earning a thousand to two thousand dollars plus just from YouTube ads alone. And I would already have been monetized and earning the money from a long, long way back. YouTube in some ways is a lot less risky than blogging because you're gonna get organic search traffic and it's not like Google when update can come and just smite your traffic. I haven't barely touched gaming for months and months and months and yet I'm getting the same amount of traffic. If I increased it, my money just would exponentially increase. It'll be far easier to get to 10,000 plus subs because that's only 10 times as many subs I have as I have right now. I have a thousand subs. How did I do? November's plan. All in all, I published 36 posts and a couple videos and I earned $1,766.89. Not quite my goal of 2,000, but I really hope I get that next month. But you know what? I don't care about it because now I'm going to stop looking at daily earnings. It doesn't mean nothing to me. The only thing I'm focused on is the end result, the end result of 10,000, 12,000 plus or whatever. For November, I aim to hit 40 posts published. Already using my ClickUp system, my writers are writing on four different posts and one writer has published a post in one day. I aim to find new writers on Upwork and to acquire a team of good seasoned writers of between five to nine different writers. Right now I have about four to five, but you always want to have more because someone could leave due to life and then you're pissed. Remember, two, one is none, two is one, but I'll spend as much as I can. I will find way better affiliate programs for all my niches and better optimize my conversion. The small amount I get is not enough, it is unacceptable. For the higher level business people watching, I highly recommend you watch the video on how to build a ClickUp blogging system. Using this system, I'm only bottlenecked on money. I could have easily produced 70 plus posts, high quality posts this month. This system is from yays.com, who's a fantastic blogger who's earning $100,000 a month last month. Using this system, she produces more than 500 posts a month. Crazy. Some people have surpassed me who started after me on the Project 20 forums in earning the 4,000 full-time month badge. But I know by using this system and a combination of the system and my VA, I will win the true battle of $10,000 a month plus. Together with my VA, my business system has completely transformed my business. If you found value in this video, please like because it helps to spread to more people and watch the business system to really transform your blogging system and to make everything that much easier, more effective, more money, more everything. Bye.